Hello and welcome to today's walk. Today we are here on Buena Vista Street in DCA, Disney California Adventure. We are gonna spend the day in one of the newest, well, it is the newest land uh, in DCA. And we're gonna spend it here today and see how many superheroes we can meet today. So join me on today's walk. And today is all about the superheroes in Avengers Campus. Let's go. All right, so right here in front of Grizzly Peak, the waterfalls here. This area used to be a bug's life land or a bug's, bug's land. It is now Avengers Campus and it is the newest land in all of Disneyland Resort. So let's take a walk through. I wanna kinda see what we can find as far as merch, all the rides that are here and hopefully run into some superheroes, which I'm sure we will. So let's uh, get on through Avengers Campus. So starting right when you walk in, you see right here, all the, there's different Easter eggs throughout the whole land here. And one of them is Stark Motors. And we know that Stark Motors ends up being Stark Industries, which is Iron Man. And here we have, this is where, where Spider-Man does his show. He comes down, look at, he's got the, the bot that he's already captured from the, from the ride. And see the bots in the, in the graffiti art here. And this is the uh, location where he ends up taking photos and, and comes after he basically does his show and, and, and comes down the, uh, the web there. All right, so the, you see all this graffiti art, I'm, and I'm not too versed on the um, Spider-Man and it, it's different verses and stuff, but I did I did watch one where Miles Morales is a uh, young boy that uh, ends up turning into be, and becoming Spider-Man, and he was I think he does graffiti in in the. Uh, in the episode or the movie that I saw, so there's there's a, a quick Easter egg there. All right, so as we leave the area where Spider-Man does his show, and we have the graffiti art, then we have the building here that's basically the ride, the uh, Web Slingers ride, and then you have the Web Web Suppliers. So we're gonna take a walk into Web Suppliers first and then uh, we'll take a look in there. All right, as we walk into Web Suppliers, here's the bots that you can actually buy and they're like control little robot um, spiders and a wasp. This one has lightsabers, it looks like. But this is an Iron Man one. There's the Spidey bot. That's the Spider bot tactical upgrade. They have the Stark Industries um, sweatshirts. Oh, they got a, a, another Spider bot, a black one. They got these tiny Spider bots. And if, I, if I remember right, I think these are like a hundred, a hundred dollars. But I'll, I'll double check right now. Oh, they got these. Oh, this is a pretty cool backpack here where you can uh, hold stuff in the web. That is pretty cool. Oh, the backpack is $54.99. I don't see a price for the the bots though, but like I said, I'll, I'll double check right now. All right, so one of the coolest things that they have are these uh, Spidey goggles that change I don't know if you could see it too well in the, in the video, but they have different um, sequences that they do. And I think it's one of the best items that they have here. They also have these web slingers that you can use on the ride that are supposed to help you get higher scores. But these, these uh, goggles are, are awesome. 
All right, so the spider bots are $79.99. And then the web shooters are $24.99. They have different ones now. This one looks like an Ant-Man one. Yeah, it's an ant that helps you. That's a new one. I've, ha I've never seen that one. And then this one here, I'm not sure what that one is. And then they have an Iron Man one down here. But here is, here's all, uh, well, here's the Iron Man. Here's the regular one, I think. And then they got this uh, spider one also. And these are to help you on the ride achieve higher scores. All right, so they have another. Well, this one was over there. This is another one. And then this one looks like uh, the new, uh, oh, I forgot his name, Con or Kane or Con. And they have this one, which I think is, um, it has the, uh, oh, the magician. I can't think of his name right now. Dr. Strange. Yes, Dr. Strange. And this spins, it gives you the circle that um, he creates when he's doing his magic. Pretty cool, so they got all these different ones that you can use for the ride. All right, so here's the Spider-Man goggles that are out in the open and they are $59.99. So they're pretty awesome. All right, what I really like are these um, small little flasks uh, from Pym Industries, and that's from uh, that's the that's the technology they use to create things that are shrunken or big, just like Ant Man does. And if you look up above, there's a bunch of things that are associated with like those are batteries up there. Look at how big those batteries are. And then you know they have the flask and the Pym work and then they have the like I said spider bots but they have a lot of like little Easter eggs throughout the uh, store you know they even got got a sticker of uh, different um, of the Avengers all right like I said this is the exit on this side of the uh, building as we leave the uh, web suppliers you can see the entrance of web slingers right here and this is the lightning lane entrance and you can see how long it is already so it is a ride that you got to do very very early or purchase a lightning lane because it gets pretty long the lines dr. strange's area right here I'm not sure what the name of it is but I'll see if I can find out all right, so one of the cool areas that they have right here is this uh, picture op area. And I'll show you what it is right now. But if you look at it, it's just flat ground. Nothing to it, right? But when you look at it from this angle, it looks like the, the force of the magic is going down into the ground and it's just an awesome picture op you can see right there it's just flat ground but when you're back here it looks like it's the force of it of energy is going downward into the ground really awesome uh, picture op right here and you have this really awesome I don't know if it's an orb or, but I know at night it lights up, makes uh, different sounds. I don't know if you could hear them. And it's right here, it has all this, all these different, um, drawings on, on the stone, which I'm sure it has to do with how Doctor Strange gets his uh, magical powers. 
All right, so over here in this area, Oh, look at sorcerers only so he has here a location where he does a a show you can see the Doctor Strange show that happens throughout the day and he comes out right out of this door which if you can see, like I said, it has all the different insignias that he uses for his magical powers. And speaking of Doctor Strange, there he is. We just waved hi to him. Let me see. Oh, he just walked in, so he may be coming out. There he goes out back that way. I don't know if you can see through the, the screen. All right, so we were standing over there when we saw Doctor Strange, and now we're on this side. You can see the jet a lot better. You can see where they they have the uh, battles up there. And then in this back corner, there's Ant-Man and um, the Wasp over there taking pictures, but they cut off the line already, so we'll try and catch them a little later. All right, and over here at the farthest end, after you pass, the uh, building where the where the um, I was the jet was at, you get over here and you have Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Escape, and then pretty much it ends here. But this ride, if you all know, was the Tower of Terror, and if you know the story of. Guardians of the Galaxy, there's a collector that collects things throughout all the galaxies. And his building landed here and with the landing caused all this, I don't know if it's some kind of cosmic goo or what, but it, it surrounds the whole building. So when the building landed here, it caused all this throughout, all the way around it. But from time to time, you'll see the Guardians of the Galaxy out here. You'll see Groot, you'll see um, uh, Space Lord, or I think it was Space Lord, and then um, Gamara. You'll see them out here so yeah this building landed it, it looks a lot i don't know i, I did like tower of terror but i think this one's a lot better and if you if you miss the uh tower of terror you can always go to to disney world but they also have a gift shop and, I, and i've never been in there so let's uh take a look at their gift shop all right so they call it the collector's warehouse and uh let's take a walk inside and take a look all right, so when you come in, they have these special coins, souvenir coins you can get. They also have all the Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow, this mask is awesome. Little Groot, baby Groot. Rocket plushes. And here's stuff that the uh, collector has collected some of these things. They have these really awesome uh, bookends, and this one is uh, Iron Man and uh, Captain America out here. And it's bookends for $60. Then they have this really cool artwork that has uh, pretty much all the Avengers on here. And that's $99. They have a lot of figurines, um, artwork. This is a, a one of Groot and a Rocket for 95. But a lot of cool, you know, Doctor Strange there, 54. So if you're interested in the store, it is located right at the exit of the ride. So in case you don't go in the ride, you just could come in from that exit right there. 
but once you exit the right, here's where you're gonna come out of, and you go right into the store. So, all right, let's uh, keep going through Avengers Campus. All right, one of the cool things, like I said, when you come in here, it's just a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of, you know, little things that you, that you can look at. So, here's something, I don't know if this belongs to the collector, but there's different gems inside of this case here. And it looks like it might belong to the uh, collector, but there's several things in here. There's some on this side, but all kinds of uh, different Easter eggs throughout the park. And then all the food is themed, themed uh, for this uh, land. And I think what I'm gonna try, and I don't think they have the breakfast one anymore, but I'm gonna try the shawarma, which if you watch the Avengers, they had a a bonus uh, clip at the end where they were having shawarma palace. Uh, They're all sitting down after they defeated the, uh, the enemy and having the shawarma. So I think that's what I'm gonna get today. All right, like I said, they, they have these shawarmas and they have a New York's Tastiest, which is a chicken shawarma wrap, and then an Impossible Victory Falafel. So they have a plant-based also. And they're $13.99. You also get a discount with your annual pass. But uh, I got my chicken here. Let's go try it out. All right, so here we have the uh, chicken shawarma. I think it's called the New York style. We're gonna give it a try. Um, it comes with, comes with a tzatzine sauce. So let me try it and I'll let you know what I think. All right, so I've had it. I I tried it without the uh, tzatzine and with the tzatzine, tzatzine sauce and it tastes a lot better without it. The chicken is very good. It's, I, I like this chicken. It is on the spicy side, um, but the the bread, I, don't, I forgot what it's called, but when, you know, it's, it's, it's on the dry side. So I didn't like that that much, but the chicken was really good. The sauce, not too much flavor. I, I, I really love this kind of sauce, the tazin sauce or tazin. And um, I don't know, this one just didn't do it for me. But um, I would give it three, three and a half stars, three and a half. All right, so I'm as, as I'm getting up from where I'm eating, like I said, there's a bunch of Easter eggs throughout the, the, uh, to the, la uh, the land here. And here we have three D-sized batteries. So, like I said, you gotta keep your eye out for all this stuff. All right, let's uh, let's talk about uh, this theater here. What's gonna be happening? Okay, I know that today's all about Avengers Campus, but I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard at the very far end. Here's the Hollywood Studios. Here's the back wall. Here's the Hyperion Theater. And what's gonna be happening there? is gonna be related to Avengers Campus. Now this theater had one of my favorite, favorite all time um, things to do in DCA. And basically all of Dis Disneyland here. And that was the Aladdin show. That went away and they brought the when frozen became the hot thing they brought in the frozen show and now they're bringing a new show that's called carter kind of like a i think it's or, or rod roger roger i think it is not carter roger which is a captain america uh kind of musical but uh, yeah, this theater's been closed 
for a while and uh, here they have all the entrance I mean this place used to get packed for for the different shows that they had and uh, as you can see here you could choose the area that you want to sit in and I'm wondering if they have any new signage for the new show anywhere but they do have Avengers signs here's for the PIM technology you can see where they're using the ray to make that either a small tiny uh, truck or a giant one but here's another and that's I think wasp that's also from the PIM technology and here's in the PIM kitchen they have this uh, giant meatball so see how big they made that meatball right there and then you have basically Ant-Man right there and he's uh, the giant Ant-Man but yeah here's the theater like I said here's all the different entrances and the new show coming is Rogers now there has not been any inf other information other than they had mentioned it one time and I think at D23 they had a the, the opening of D23 they had the characters come out and do a, a number so when is that coming don't know but I'm glad this theater is going to be finally used I, I really enjoyed I really really enjoyed um, the Aladdin show I wish that would come back instead but sounds like it's gonna be this theater now is gonna be associated with you can see the signage up there like the PIM signage so they are getting it ready I guess all right let's uh let's speaking of PIM kitchen let's see if we can uh, take a walk over there all right here we are at the pimp kitchen they also have the giant sized iphone with the menu and the items that they have inside the kitchen and the other day we did take a little quick walk in there just to see what they had and uh we'll take a look at the menu maybe we'll take something here all right nothing that uh seemed like I wanted and I didn't want to get something too big since we just had the shawarma and uh, did well I ate half of that but I didn't want to get another big item so we'll have to try that later on they do have seating area over here and uh, all right here is a character here's another guy Captain America there he is let's see if we can meet him today Hi, what's up? Alright, he's a busy man. But at least we got to stand right in front of him. Alright, as we leave Avengers Campus, I want to uh, show you one more thing. It's an Easter egg. And I'm going to finish with that. So let me walk over to it and then I'll sh show you what it is. All right, so here is an Easter egg. And then it's, take a look and see if you can figure out what it is. And I'll show you why it's that way. But I'll move a little closer. I'll give you a hint, it's these three trees. And notice how one of them is a lot bigger than the other two so let me move closer all right so here's the first tree and look at this one yikes how big this one is compared to the other two that are next to it now those of you that are big incredible hulk fans will know what caused the Hulk to change 
into the Big Hulk when he gets angry. And that is gamma radiation. And if you look right here, caution, gamma radiation, which is falling. You can see the green right there. And I think there's one on this side too. There's a second one on this side. Caution, gamma radiation. And it's falling right here where this tree is. And look at this tree. So this is the Incredible Hulk tree caused by the gamma radiation that's coming through those pipes hey, how are you? hi i just wanted to say hello yeah, you want to walk this way with and me? wish you a good day i appreciate it thank you what have uh, you been up to today well just walking around avengers campus okay trying to see who i could meet exploring where you open this stop by yeah and I, i'm glad i got to meet you today me too i'm glad i passed cross all right have take fun. care you too have bye bye fun. All right, Captain Marvel, how about that? All right, that concludes our day out here at DCA at the Avengers Campus. I hope you enjoyed the day out here with me. Um, awesome, awesome meeting the Captain Marvel on the way out. And I hope you enjoyed that Easter egg with the Hulk tree. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Today's Walk. Bye. Bye.